Hi everyone and welcome back. I hope you had a really good New Year's and that 2019 will be great for you. Here what I want to do is to give you an outline of what's going to take place over the coming weeks. So in communicating with all of you, basically what I figured out is there's no consensus on exactly what you guys want to learn. And that's okay. What I've tried to do is come up with a topic that I think will be as beneficial as possible to as many of you as possible. So what we're going to do is talk about importing data into Excel. And I'm going to break this up into four or five or maybe even six very large tutorials over the coming weeks. How I'm going to structure it is the first one. Actually, if we go to the data tab, you can kind of see how it's going to work. The data tab over here, you've got get and transform data. And that's kind of what we're going to cover. If you click get data, the first tutorial, it's going to be relatively simple compared to the later ones. It's going to show you how to get data from text or CSV file. But then I'm going to show you how to clean the data and get it ready to actually be used in Excel. After that, we're going to get data from an Excel workbook. But then I'll also show you multiple ways to link the data, to update the data, and to basically have the worksheet that has imported the data communicate in a way with the worksheet that is giving it the data. So you can do a little bit more when you're getting data from another workbook. After that, after those two tutorials, we're going to get into the really fun stuff. We're going to talk about how to connect to a database and pull the data in from the database. You've got the option down here. We're going to go with an access database because I think a lot of people in Office might use that. But then it's going to get really cool, and we're going to get data from an SQL server database. I'm going to use MySQL for the examples, but it should be generic enough to work for different types of SQL databases. So that would be really fun because that database can reside anywhere on the Internet. So you can pull data out of a company database right into your Excel workbook and manipulate it however you want to do it. After that, I'm going to show you how to get data from the web, the Internet. So I'll show you two different ways. One is by hand, because they have kind of a feature somewhere around here, right here, from web. So I'll show you how to do it using this, although it's not terrifically helpful. I don't like it at all. The really cool thing I'll show you how to do is to do all of that using VBA and macros. So I'll show you how to go to a website and pick and choose what specific pieces of information you want and pull that into Excel. And that might end up being a few tutorials, actually, because there's going to be a lot of stuff to cover there. After that, sort of the last large section in this series is going to cover Power Query. Now, if you have an older version of Excel, you might not have Power Query. But if we go to Get Data, go down here to Launch Power Query Editor. This is a really cool feature. What it allows you to do is basically what would have required a macro in the past. You can import the data. You can do all sorts of really cool manipulations to it here. And then you can have those done automatically each time you want to import the data or update the data. So that by the time the data actually hits Excel or the worksheet down here, it is exactly how you want it to be. So that is also a really, really, really cool little feature that can make importing data much more powerful. So we're going to go kind of from simple to complex in this series. As well, since it seems like a lot of you like the Idiot Proof tutorial series and the premium course that I made out of that, I will also be turning this into a premium course where I'm going to have lots of additional tutorials that will show you how to do very particular things so that not only can you import the data, but then you can do some little thing over here to make it work perfectly for your situation. So that's my outline or my plan for the next few weeks. And what I want from you guys is give me some feedback. Do you want to see different topics covered? Do you want specific things for importing data from the web? Do you want it to be stock prices or just generic data? How to log into a website using a macro and get data behind the paywall? I mean, there's a lot of different things that can be covered here, and I want to make sure that, it's a, that it is as helpful to you as possible. So give me as much feedback as you can now, because as of today, nothing is finalized. So I can still add, improve, and expand everything as needed. So that's it for now. Make sure to give me your feedback, and I look forward to hearing from you.